<laughs> We've got a uh, a big show for you, as we always do. Thursdays, we have Shil Kapadia joining us at 3 o'clock of The Ringer. A, a hockey expert we had on once before, an actual a Russian hockey expert, Vladimir Smirnov, joins us at 3.30. People loved him the first time around. Yes, talk a little Michkov, talk a little Flyers. Mike Lombardi will bring the heat at 4 o'clock. I'm sure we won't have to talk about Joel Embiid at all. Oh, boy. And yes, and uh, no, I know. I didn't even think about I'm that. Not looking forward yeah. to it. And Eli Ricks will actually join us at 5.30. He's a dog guy, hey. apparently. Hey, he's, Eli. He, yeah, doing it. He's, apparently he's a dog guy. So we'll talk to him at 5.30. So, uh, you know, we've had a bit of a uh, an Eagles respite over the last couple of days as we all yelled and screamed about the Sixers and Joel yeah, Embiid. Yeah. But we're back. Let's we're get back. back. We're back. Let's get back to the birds. And we have spent the last couple of weeks sort of praising Jalen Hurts and uh, celebrating his evolution as he hasn't turned the ball over, which he hasn't. No turnover worthy mm-hmm. plays for two weeks, and that's good. Mm-hmm. It's great. It's fine. And this whole. You know, we're running. You sound so impressed. Well, here's where I am. This whole we're running team thing is a nice distraction, Mm. but we have seen when other teams decide or when we even decide, oh, you're a running team, well, we're going to stop that. We did that against the Saints and the Browns did it against us. And we're eventually going to need a real response to Mm. to that. And, And let's get real about Sunday. The guy threw for 100 yards. He dropped back 21 times. He got sacked or had a scramble, seven of them. He went one for 13 on third down. Missed big plays on the field that we saw, you know. Uh, It was efficient, I guess, but there were plays left on the table. And I just keep coming back to, I'm trying to stay in the moment with the Eagles, Mm -hmm. but I just keep coming back to, this is is not going to be good enough. Like this, this sort of game manager thing that he's doing it and the way that he's doing it is not going to be good enough. And and the concern that I have is that this isn't his second year in the NFL. It's his what fifth year in the NFL. Uh yes, it's his fifth, fifth year, year in the NFL. And the things that he is not good at yet are things that I. I'm, I'm very skeptical that he will ever be good enough at mm-hmm. when we're talking about, uh, you know, the, 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 the speed of, of going through progressions, when we're talking about, you know, making quick decisions, when we're talking about throwing the ball over the middle of the field, these are things that I just thought I would see by now. And I just don't think, I think you can win a game or two and have a, a pretty good season, but I, I just think looking ahead, this version of him, this kind of quarterback, is not a quarterback that there's much of a, a, a high ceiling for. And I think it sort of holds back the team overall. Well, listen, time will tell if it's good enough. I, I believe it can be good enough. Um, I think if he's playing a game where he's not hurting the team. See, here's the thing. I think the turnovers and some bad decisions has been his biggest Achilles heel. I don't think there's a lack of physical talent there that concerns me. Like I, Does he have the strongest arm? No. But there are plenty of guys that don't have the strongest arm. I mean, Brock Purdy was, what, three points away from being a Super Bowl champion this past year. Doesn't have a rocket for an arm. That's why he was Mr. Irrelevant. Seventh round draft pick. Sure. His measurables don't blow you away. Dak's measurables don't blow you away. There are a lot of quarterbacks who don't have the cannon for an arm or the elite athletic ability at the position that Lamar Jackson has. We know Lamar is one of those rare sort of uh, athletes. Even a guy like Josh Allen, who has the cannon arm and his size combined with his speed, speed makes him different from anybody else in the league. He's like a Cam Newton. Uh, Josh Allen was, but a better passer. With Jalen, here's why I feel confident that we can get it done. And this may be the hardest thing. There's enough talent around him that he doesn't have to be that guy. See, some of these teams have that quarterback with those measurables, and they don't necessarily have enough talent around them. Hell, Buffalo said, you know what, we'll move on from Stephon Diggs. And it was like, okay, we're winning, but we know if we really ultimately want to win, we need to add something else to our passing game. They go out and get Amari Cooper. That's why now they're a Super Bowl legitimate contender now. Jalen has that at his disposal. Better than a lot of quarterbacks in this league as far as talent around him. Sure. The defense, 
they're headed in the right direction. I'm not going to say they're Super Bowl caliber defense just yet, and it may not come till next year as far as that level of defense. But if they can be a better than serviceable defense and we can start getting some takeaways, I think the less we're asking of Jalen and he can just manage the game, I look at the competition. Who am I concerned with? Right? Det- just getting out of the NFC. Forget about the AFC. Right. Just getting to the Super Bowl. Detroit. Detroit's a solid football team. Well-rounded. Yep. Yeah. Minnesota. Minnesota. Until proven otherwise. I, I, listen, they just had their first bump in the road. We'll see what it's like sure. second half of the season. Sam Donald hasn't been in the, these these this uncharted water mm-hmm. for Sam Darnold. Expectations late in the year, playoff atmosphere. Sam Darnold hasn't experienced that as a quarterback. You get a little tighter when you haven't really experienced that. Hell, Sam Darnold didn't even experience that in college, I believe. Was, no, USC didn't yeah, play Yeah, was USC that good? Yeah, like, yeah. Green Bay. Okay, I like Green Bay. Yep. I like Green Bay, but I tell you, Jordan Love, as good as he is, ah, he'll give you the ball, too. He will. They he won will. that game Sunday? They turned the ball over three times Sunday. So I look at the NFC, and, and and by the way, those are the only teams. I'm not worried about San Francisco, especially not this year. They're banged up. I'm not worried about them this year. Dallas, I'm not concerned about them. Washington? Washington, I'm not concerned about Washington because I'm going to tell you, I'm waiting on that Thursday night game. That's going to be the game where this thing really flips and the Eagles seize control of the NFC East. I like Washington. I like Jaden Daniels. But you know what happens the more and more uh, of, of, of a book that you get on a player that you've never faced before? They start to figure out things you aren't very good at, and they start to make you do those things. Sort so, of like what happened here. Yeah, sort of. But the yeah. difference is Jalen's in his fifth year, and yep. Jaden Daniels is only in his first year. Sure. And that team certainly isn't used to winning and playing with high expectations. So it's great to win when nobody's expecting anything from you. Okay, now you're about to be in the spotlight, and we'll see what you can do. All I'm saying is, is I like the Eagles and where they're at with Jalen because at least he's gone through it. And I think Jalen has the ability to know how to dial it back. He's accustomed to being around. He, he Alabama, Oklahoma. He's been there. I, th- I think my he's my been there. my concern is less that he can't dial it back because he has shown he can dial it back. Mm-hmm. My question is is can he ramp it up? And the the, okay. t- the two things. Let's put the physical things to the side because mm-hmm. he doesn't have elite athleticism like a uh, Lamar Jackson does. Or Josh he, Allen. Or yeah. Josh Allen. Yeah. But absolutely. Yeah. But you don't need to have elite athleticism. The things that I'm worried about that I keep hearing about, and we'll play them through the show, are when people talk about. Seeing the field and processing speed and seeing the field and processing speed. And those are the things that they're not, we can't, we can only see them when he, when, when they're he not do- happening, yeah. right? You yeah. know, when, when he, when he doesn't see them. And, and when we talk about game managers, you know, Brock Purdy for, for all of the, the physical skills he doesn't have, Brock Purdy can throw the ball 35 times or, or 40 times and win the game. Now he needs the talent around him too, sure. you know, just like Jalen does, mm-hmm. but he, he he can throw the ball in a way that I just don't see Jalen throwing it. And he can he can manage the game in a way that I just don't see Jalen managing it. And I just don't think run the ball a hundred times a game is a is a realistic scenario moving forward for the Eagles. There will be games and there will be times when we can do that. But when we can't, I'm not confident in Jalen saying, okay. I'm putting the team on. I, I think he's almost he's not Derek Carr, but but I would expect when we did to the Saints, when we said okay, let Derek Carr mm-hmm. you go ahead, I I would expect results like that more than results from a you know a, a different quarterback that is maybe better at throwing the ball than Jalen is. So yeah. I'm just I just don't think this is sustainable. Two one five five nine two ninety four ninety four. Can the Eagles continue to win with Jalen Hurts playing this way, this particular way? Now we do have a next question today. We've got a four pack of tickets to the Brotherly Love Card Show in Philly Saturday, and a meet and greet autograph session with none other than Ike Reese at I'm the P- boy. yeah the PA Convention Center. So, guys, I don't know if you know this. I don't mm-hmm. know if Tommy from down the shore knows it. It is National Baloney Day. Ah, how can Tommy not notice? Yes. Well, we should have had him on today for this. <laughs> yes. So well, he's for- probably overdosing on bologna. <laughs> yes, I yeah, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He's, like, he's we'll see a, if he can make tomorrow's show. He's in a bologna coma somewhere. <laughs> yes. Yes. So I, 
This is not a... Some next questions are right down my alley. This one is not down my alley. Yep, you got overridden on this one. So Mm -hmm. next question... I did try to fight against this one. Next question today for the tickets to the card show and the autograph session with Ike is what is your go-to meat? (laughs) Yeah! (laughs) Go-to meat. Come on, yeah, I know you're a go to meatsman. <laughs> no, I'm not a meatsman. Yeah. Well, you guys can give your go-to meats. Jack, give your go-to meat. I'm going with the meat. <laughs> no one's totally sure what it is. And it's got to be a specific yeah, meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't no, no. just... You can't say beef. Saying, you can't say chicken. Yeah, yeah, you got to... You can't yeah. say whole turkey. Right, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I need a specific meat. Yes. Real meat. Okay. And I'm going with something that no one totally knows what it is, but I love it, especially with a little ketchup on top. Mm. Scrap. Disgusting. Scrapple, dude, I love Scrapple. Nobody eats Scrapple. Dude, a lot of people. As a Philly guy, yeah, yeah, no, that's right. Yeah, 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 My yeah. Bad. Come on, man. Is it part part of pig liver? <laughs> so, oh God, is that what it is? It's part of it. It's all the extra parts of the pig put together. Yeah, it's, it's like phenomenal. the leftovers of the kid, oh, the pig oh, all ground up. It's that's not disgusting at all. Uh, that I, sounds I, great. Man. Yeah, yeah I, that sounds awesome. I, I'll, I'll get it, some for uh, for you for Christmas. Yeah, uh, I, I got it. a real man. Okay, real, real man's meat. Okay. Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> Interesting. We're really setting ourselves up for this one. Well, first of all, I'm a steak lover. Yep. Oh, yeah. Uh, definitely a steak lover. I've seen that. Hey, hold on. I got I to gotta give a disclaimer. Okay. Deets and Watson, no offense, I could have chosen all your meats. Yes, of yes, course. Yes, right, I yeah. love eating your meat. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Clip it, Jack. Jack, I know. I see Jack on the phone. I just. All right. Um, I'm going. My favorite steak. Mm hmm. Is the tomahawk? Oh, the big old oh, tomahawk! The big one, man. Big tomahawk. Throw that bad boy on the grill. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, you haven't made enough money to get a tomahawk yet. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, yeah, they are expensive. Yeah, I'm, I'm still on the. Well, I don't want to take another <laughs> meat off the board or, or steak cut type, but yeah. you know, yeah. I'm still working my way up through the steak. Yeah, yeah. to the tomahawk. Okay. So Mike, what's your answer? <laughs> well, if you guys want to go to meat, here's how you get it. What you do is you look at oh, one of these no, f- no. factory farms in the no, middle of the country, no, and they're very dark. No, and no, what they do to the animals no, is they no, inject no, them no, with no, steroids and no, antibiotics. Where's the violin? Oh, okay. get, man. Yeah, get him out of here. <laughs> oh, you made, you <laughs> made me do it. Here, man. You made me do it. No, no. So we for are meat men. We are meat men. So, and, uh, do, hold on. Do fish count? Yes. Because that fraud Gilio <laughs> keeps trying to say that he's a Episcopalian. A Episcopalian. A Presbyterian? Yeah. yeah, not a Presbyterian or an Episcopalian. <laughs> a a Pescatarian. A pescatarian. Like yeah. fish still count as meat, Gilio. Yes, You're I not think out they, of the no, no, he's killing something. I know he he likes to get let off the hook. Oh, I'm a vegetarian. You're not a vegetarian. You're killing fish. <laughs> so anyway, for National Bologna Day, next question today is: What is your go-to meat? Of course, you have to call with your your sports point first. Can the Eagles continue to win with Jalen Hurts playing this exact way? 